What's up, YouTube? It's Real Cold Burnout. Thanks for joining me on my channel. Here's the question. What's the best pocket carry holster? <laughs> if you're like me, you've gone through numerous holsters looking for that perfect holy grail. So I'm going to just give you my two cents. And at the end of this vid, please go down in the comment section and give me your two cents. Keep it classy. We're trying to help you, everybody in the community. There's holsters out there that some people don't know about, maybe I don't know about, so let's interact a little bit here. I do have, before I show you my picks for pocket carry holsters, I do have a little bit of a criteria that I go through for pocket carry. Now some people pocket carry as a primary means, nothing wrong with that. Some people, maybe they pocket carry as their backup. Definitely not, nothing wrong with that. And if you don't, think about it, because it's a good way to carry a backup. And remember, any firearm is better than none. Okay, my criteria. Let's see if I can keep it down to three. All right, first one, the biggie. Maybe I'll use this finger. The biggie. The holster should cover the trigger. A lot of smaller uh, pocket carry pistols like the Ruger LCP, which is one of my favorites. Hell, it is my favorite for pocket carry. You know, it, it doesn't have any type of safety or nothing like that. It has a pretty pretty decent trigger pull, so it's not just going to go off. It's not like a hair trigger, but it's nice to have that trigger covered in your pocket. You know, that goes for any holster probably. With that, <laughs> with that first one, don't put any, my advice, don't put any keys, anything else in that pocket. If you're pocket carrying, designate that pocket for your pistol only. And, uh use a holster that covers the trigger guard and that may be in a jacket pocket too all right so there's that one uh, the second one it should be uh, like a grippy type surface basically the holster when you draw your pistol out of your pocket you want the holster to stay in your pocket not be drawn out with your pistol you draw I mean we've got the trigger guard covered the trigger covered right so you draw it out with a holster, it's ineffective if that means you got to use your other hand to shuck that holster or you got hopefully you can pop it off with like your thumb or something like that. And some of the holsters are designed to do that as you draw. So there's practice involved in, in with any holster, but with pocket carry as well. So second one, holster, you want it to remain in the pocket. How, how do you do that? How do holsters do that? There'll be like a grippy type surface on there. To hold it in or some type of thing that you can pop you pop it off with your thumb like a thumb break as you draw it out some will have a little lanyard that clips your belt so that's a little bit you know longer draw main thing is can you draw it out of your pocket and the holster comes off as you draw it so that's the second thing third thing pretty simple try to break up the printing of your firearm as much as possible. Some people don't care about this, some people do, depending on your state rules or regulations, laws, printing can be bad. So, you know, I, I don't want people to know I'm carrying if I'm concealed carrying, that's the whole point. So breaking that print up, you're going you're gonna to have something. I mean, you're putting a, a big chunk of metal in your pocket. You put, you put your keys in your pocket, your, your pockets are going to bulge out. But if it breaks it up where it's not the exact line of a firearm, there you go. All right, so there's kind of the three basics that I go off of. If you can hit that with your type of holster, you know, in my opinion, you know, and you can use it effectively, go for it. Now, here's my picks. Uh, I have two picks. Number two down, and I ran this for years, still run it some in... That's another thing, depending on your, your pants you're wearing, your pocket shape, you might have to switch up between two holsters. But one of my, my second pick, number two down, is the Recluse Holster. This one kind of freaks some people out, because look at that. What is this, like a half holster? No, let me demo. This one is for the Ruger LCP, which I did a vid on. This is pretty much my favorite pocket carry because of the size it's in 380 alright and I do have the extended mag for that 
I'll link some videos down there if you care to watch them. But no safety for this. So again, you want to you want to have your trigger guard carried or covered. Excuse me. This is a hammer fired. This is this is purpose built for a pocket carry situation. Here's the way the recluse holster works. Put it in like that. And it actually there's a block in there that locks out the trigger. I feel so comfortable as far as knowing, or, or so safe, I guess you'd say, as far as knowing this thing, I'm not going to hit the trigger by some random act. You know, think about it. When you're sitting down, if you're pocket carrying, say you're eating dinner with your family, where's this firearm pointing? It might be pointing at, uh, you know, someone else at the table. So. You know, you shift around the wrong way, you got keys in your pocket, could be a disaster. This locks it out, and again, like I said, don't keep anything, designate your pocket for pistol only. This one works a little bit, I don't know if I can demo this on camera here, but the way it works is gun side will be down on your leg. So the idea behind this, this one's curved like this, this is for to match the shape of most common pockets. They do make a squared off one to, to resemble a wallet. So again, breaking up the profile of the firearm, depending on your pocket shape. This one, you got to practice with it a little bit, but basically you, as you reach into the pocket, you slip in, and it's a little easier when it's in the pocket, you slip in your hand, and when you draw it out, it basically pops it out. This remains in. All right, and it does work. It was a little funky. I'm trying to demo it when it's not in the pocket, but uh, it does work cost-wise. This is like 59 bucks. Good quality product. I've, I've run this for years. I still run it. But that moved down to my number two. That used to be my number one. That's why I say if you have suggestions, put them down below. Here's my number one currently. And some of you may be like, duh been running this for years. DeSantes. <laughs> A DeSantes holster. All right. This is the Nemesis. They come in packaging like this. Here's why I'm currently really digging this. And I know there's a buddy of mine out there. If he's watching this, <laughs> you know who you are. You helped me install a scope on a <clears throat> on one of my ARs, all right? Yeah, I think he ran one of these for a while with the LCP. And he may still be running it in the pocket when he's doing pocket carry at DeSantes. I like it. Cost-wise, why I like it. 14 bucks off of Amazon.com. <laughs> so, and it's a little bit lighter weight than the Recluse. Now, it covers the trigger. You see you have a little bit of the actual trigger guard opening. I wish it actually covered the full trigger guard but it covers the trigger. I don't think anything's going to get in there and you can still get a grip on it as you draw out. And this surface is nice and it's like a rubbery coating and there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do a thumb break, push it off as you draw. You can try to hook it on your right here, hook it on your pocket or what I've been doing is I just put a little just a little bit of pressure against my body as I draw it and you know it's gonna come off so it meets all the criteria it's lightweight and it does break in as you use it this is not a retention holster but it does the job in your pocket and it breaks up the lines I'll show it up close on my pants I know you guys like that Uh, I also picked up one for my Ruger LC9S and it covers the trigger completely, the trigger guard completely, so I really like that. Now I will carry this LC9S some in my pocket. Normally this one is actually kind of pushing the edge. You can pocket carry this and you get the 9mm, you get a full grip. 
so it's a great option there this mine does have the safety they do have models that don't have the safety if that's your thing so you can pocket carry this it's an option a little bit heavier a little bit more is going to print in your pocket but this helps um, break that up a little bit and of course covers that trigger guard so if you don't want to run that safety or you have that model that doesn't have the safety it's covered really like it um, other than that I'll normally run this with a, like a crossbreed holster in the waistband type of thing so there's my two picks the number one DeSantes holster and and even that one for the LC9 I think it was like fourteen ninety eight or whatever it was off Amazon.com with prime shipping for the value the DeSantes Nemesis I like it and I've been I've been running it for a while you got a little more money to spend maybe this is yours and shipping is not super fast but it works the recluse this is about fifty nine dollars so that's why the nemesis uh, by DeSantis moved up to number one in my book once I finally like you know let me try this holster I've seen a lot of my buddies you know successfully using that in the pocket there's my picks comment down below what your picks are and uh, you know thanks for watching like comment subscribe carry safe stay armed boom all right and stay tuned for I just got a package in the mail actually a couple days ago it's from Stoker so this is gonna be a holster for your vehicle and I'm you know if you're traveling like me like I'm rocking my SR9 or whatever I don't want to keep that in my <laughs> you know my waistband or whatever it's not comfortable on a long trip take it out put it in your vehicle holster easy to draw from that type of thing if you get in one of those hostile vehicle situations stay tuned